Okay, so apparently YouTube, in its infinite politically correct wisdom, has decided to use an algorithm to randomly select videos from all over YouTube to block monetization on in order to protect themselves from liability of the random individual who may get butt hurt by something that's said on a video. So basically, in order to protect the possibility of one person uh, being offended and not wanting to have to deal with that, they're going to screw over a hundred thousand people to make that point. And I'm one of them. So, and you know, I don't have a big channel. I don't have a lot of uh, subscribers. I don't have like a millions and millions of hits on my videos. I've got a simple channel, simple videos, but they tagged like 25% of my content. And it's based on an algorithm, like I said, where they're just looking for certain buzzwords. For example, um, I have a video, Life Lessons from One Night in a Strip Club. And I guess they tagged it because it says Strip Club in the title. But it's not really about that. If you watch the video, there's no film footage. I'm not showing naked women. There's no graphic language. It's just me, like pretty much every video that I have out, giving a personal account from my own life, from my own perspective. That's really all it is. And that's all that is. It's about me have a confrontation I had, a story about a confrontation that I had with someone in a strip club years and years ago. And But they tagged that video. And they give you this banner, and I'll put the banner up so that you can see it, where it tells you, oh, well, you know, some advertisers might not like to advertise on a video that has explicit language, sexual content, controversial material, of which, you know, that video and pretty much all my videos don't have any. You know, I don't sit here cussing up a storm. Um, there's nothing sexually explicit. I don't show anything. Basically, all you ever see is me. <laughs> talking and uh, what's controversial about anything that I'm talking about you know I'm not offending any politicians or whatever so really don't have a cow YouTube as Bart Simpson would say don't have a cow but then they say oh well you know if you think we've made a mistake then you can go ahead and let us know and we will actually have an actual person review your video right so you click that on and take a look at this oh wait a minute we're not going to bother to look at your video unless it pulls in an average of about a thousand views a week which of course you know my videos don't because i don't have a large audience i've got a small audience i got like 1700 subscribers i don't have a quarter of a million subscribers or a million subscribers like uh, many of these other YouTube people are that are actually making money. And contrary to popular belief, uh, and I've been accused of that, people are like, oh, you said something uh, in your title to get people to watch your video. And it's like, well, you know, everybody puts something in their title to get people to watch their video. But if it makes you feel any better, that video probably only earned like 28 cents. <laughs> because you've got to have millions and millions of hits in order to actually make anything from AdSense. I'm lucky if I hear from AdSense every few months and barely enough to pay a bill. And I'm grateful for it because it does help out. But, you know, I'm not doing this really to get rich. I'm not going to get rich off YouTube. But it would be nice if they didn't interfere with me. Uh, an example of this also, because there are people who are trying to make a living off of YouTube. There's a channel called Diamond and Silk. There's these two, uh, two black women and they play off of each other on the video and they talk about some political stuff and they uh, they make a lot of money from ad revenue on YouTube and they have also branched off into other things they've become a brand right they've even they've even been featured by Donald Trump for talking about Donald Trump he had them on stage recent you know not too long ago i think it was during the election but YouTube apparently has tagged more than 90% of their videos. So in order to protect people, they took these two female black entrepreneurs and kiboshed them, crushed them, and have gotten a lot of slack for that because that's actually made it into the uh, news. It's in the mainstream media now that YouTube screwed them over. It's circulating now that that's happened, as well as dozens and dozens of other well-known 
YouTubers who all have huge fan followings and make a lot of money. YouTube has screwed them with an algorithm because, as I pointed out, no one actually watches these videos. Go back and look at that, and I'll put a link to it down below, the, the strip club one. Take a look at it. You tell me if there's anything sexually explicit or if there's excessive foul language or if I'm talking about anything controversial that their advertisers wouldn't want to see. It's just a story. That's all I'm doing is telling a story. Just like I'm doing now. Uh, giving my opinion, telling a story about my own life experience. In my opinion, what YouTube has done sucks. They don't know what they're doing. They're using a program to make decisions for people, which is ludicrous. I mean, I understand there are so many videos. How could you watch them all? But then this goes against what YouTube was supposed to stand for in the first place, was to let you put up the content that you want to put up and have your own opinion and have your own voice. And they're taking that away. They're gradually taking that away from people. And what's going to happen is eventually YouTube is going to end up being the MySpace to someone else's Facebook. Someone else is going to come along that's going to offer the same exact thing and they're not going to mess with the viewers or the uh, or the people who do the video content. And I know that there are a few other channels out there now, but those channels charge. You have to pay them to put content up. And that kind of also defeats the purpose because there's a lot of people that, even though it doesn't seem like it's that much, can't afford to do that. They can't afford to do it. So that's what I get to say about that. So please like, share, and subscribe. Watch my videos over and over and over again and recommend me to people to stick a thumb in YouTube's eye because, <laughs> oh no, I made it blurry. <laughs> Anyways, um, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notifications button so that you know when there's new content. Thanks for watching. At least I appreciate it, even if YouTube doesn't.